The Saint Bernard is one of the most easily identified dog breeds in the world. With their shaggy coats, long faces and oofing burrs, these gentle giants have been part of our popular culture for decades. However, while you might know a Saint Bernard when you see one, chances are good you didn't know these interesting facts about the breed. Hi there, this is Dog Ringda. Before we begin, please do support us by subscribing on our channel. We offer you a daily dose of dog-related contents. For this video, we will talk about the amazing dog breeds, the Saint Bernard. Is this dog best for your home? Tune in to find out. They got their name from the past they guarded. While it might sound like something out of a fantasy novel instead of real world history, the dog breed we know as the Saint Bernard got its name from a snowy pass it used to watch over. The Saint Bernard Pass is located in the Alps between Italy and Switzerland, and it can be particularly dangerous when people try to cross the frozen expanse. It's also the location of the Saint Bernard Hospice, which is the monastery where these dogs were bred. Saint Bernard's dogs were the ones who patrolled the area and they were the dogs used to help find those lost in the snow or trapped beneath the weight of avalanches. They were never the dog of choice for alcoholics. One of the most popular image of the Saint Bernard is a shaggy mountain of fur looping through the snow with a tiny keg of whiskey around its neck. That image has become so entwined with our pop culture that few of us even question it. After all, we know that it decades past people who were freezing would try to warm up with alcohol. Even though drinking it only worsened the danger their bodies were in. However, while it hurts to let go of our myth, the Saint Bernard was never armed with a neck mountain cake. They just save your life and expected payment in cuddles. Barry is the most famous Saint Bernard. While the Saint Bernard might make you think of famous films like the Beethoven series of kids, comedies, and the most famous member of the breed is known for a lot more than camera friendly jaws. Perhaps the most famous dog was a Saint Bernard named Barry. He was one of those life-saving mountain dogs and in his career saved somewhere between 45 and 100 people. Barry has a mountain all his own and his body is in a museum in Bern, Switzerland. St. Bernard dog take a while to grow up. If you have ever seen a full-grown St. Bernard, you can appreciate how big they are. Any dog capable of doing farm work or dragging humans out of snow banks is no slouch in the weight lifting department. However, because of how big they are, these dogs can take a while to reach their full size. Two or three years are usually necessary for them to finish maturing, and it may take even longer for them to fully fill out their frames. They have had other names. While we think of the breed as the Saint Bernard, that isn't the only name these lovable lungs have carried over the many years since the breed began. They have been called Barry Dogs as well as Noble Steeds by a few. The Alpine Mastiff is another name these dogs have been known by. The breed is pretty old, but not as old as you think. Dog breeding has been a hobby for humans going back further than our written history. That said, some breeds have a definite date when they first came about. The Saint Bernard is not such a breed though. According to tradition, the first Saint Bernard dogs were bred in the 11th century in and around a monastery in the Alps. And while that's a great story with a heavy weight of oral tradition behind it, most breed historians are of the opinion that the dogs we know as St. Bernard's didn't show up until the 600 years later. Although it has been conceded that the early reports are likely the dogs that were the original stock that lead to the current breed. Loops didn't used to matter to these dogs. 
When you think of pure breed dogs, you probably think of dog shows where the breeders and trainers show off their hounds inheritances. The attention is drawn to the color of their coats, the shape of their faces, and all the other physical traits that makes a breed instantly identifiable. However, when it came to the St. Bernard, that sort of breeding wasn't really common until the 19th century. Before then, these dogs were bred more for strength, stamina, and other traits that made them useful as working dogs. Napoleon depended on these dogs. Napoleon Bonaparte was one of the greatest conquerors of his generation, and for a time he seemed like an unstoppable force. His army crossed the Alps many times between 1790 and 1810. And despite how dangerous those trails were, Napoleon never lost a man. Part of the reason for that was that he always had St. Bernard dog with him, ensuring that there was a canine safety net in case something untoward were to happen. This is a warm and loving dog, but because his ancestors spent so much time traipsing at the Alps and rescuing wayward travelers from certain death, he is now pretty much a cold weather dog. No tropics for him. The St. Bernard doesn't do well in warmer weather or even in really warm rooms. So where you live must come into consideration before you get yourself one.